Silent Hill really does just torture everybody within it, doesn't it? It takes everything that bothers them and it just amplifies it and it twists it and it makes it so much even worse and just throws it in their faces. face is covered with a piece of paper. There's something written on it. This man was hung for the crime of swindling. Justice and revenge have been served. Hung for the crime of counterfeiting. Thievery. Arson. Kidnapping. This is where we came from? Yes? Wait, what? Feels like the map is breaking down. Only the sinless one can help you here. Mistakenly pull on a criminal's rope, and your reward will be returned to you in a shape most wondrously strange. Most wondrously strange. Okay. The sinless one. Which one of those was sinless? Is this taking me back to the beginning of this place? No? the handle unless you first remove the handcuffs. So we'll probably get the handcuff keys from this thing, won't we? The sinless one. Swindling. Thievery. Counterfeiting. Murder. I mean, that's definitely a sin. Arson. <sighs> Kidnapping. I don't know. What's the difference between swindling and thievery? I honestly don't know. But I'm going to guess counterfeiting, because counterfeiting sounds like a pretty sinless crime. Oh, and I looked up swindling. Swindling is basically scamming. So scamming versus thieving. I guess basically the same thing, really.
You know, I didn't pay much attention to which one was counterfeiting. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's this one. I'm probably going to regret this. Mm, don't put your head in it. I'm scared. Duh. Did it work? I'll probably go go back to the body on the other side. No? Okay, I think that's my punishment. Arson also seems kind of tame. Let's try that one. Every time James looks like they're going to put their neck in it. I don't know how to tell if it worked or not. I guess probably not. Cuffs are certainly still there. Was the right one. Key of the persecuted. The paper that was covering the corpse's face is lying here. Key left by prisoner who was wrongly executed. I really like how there's no feedback about whether you did it right or wrong immediately. Just kind of the uneasy silence. down to this stuff. I want to get out of here.
There's nothing else for me in this room. Nothing more I can do here. I don't want to, but I'll have to just leave her here like this. with dirt? I want to talk about what we just saw, but I don't want to talk too much over this music. Some graves dug out and ready. stone is too scratched up to read. There's a name inscribed on the tombstone. <laughs> James, James Sunderland. <laughs> Angela Orozco. Eddie Dombrowski. What, we're all already dead? Walter Sullivan. Miriam K. Traitor. This felon drank one last bottle of ale before he was executed and laid here to his eternal rest. I want to make sure I didn't miss any. I think that's all of them. Now what do I do? Do I have to lay in my own grave? I do, don't I? Will you go down? Yes. Deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper. Well, I think this endless hallway is a nice quiet point to talk about what we just saw. So we get back to Maria and they're dead. My first thought was that they had killed themselves, but looking at the blood splatter all over there and their face being all kind of bloody and messed up too, that made me think 
I don't know. Like, I don't know. I have I don't know if they killed themselves or not. It kind of seems like they didn't. Uh, I don't know. I've also been thinking about how Maria almost seems like a, a kind of punishment for James. You know, this is the second time we've seen them die. First with Pyramid Head in the hallway, right before the elevator. And then now when we go to check in on them, we try to get them out of jail, get them out of the bars, and then they're dead by the time we get there. Once again, we couldn't do anything. It's almost like a punishment for James. The guilt they felt as they couldn't do anything for Mary. But I also feel a little bit uncomfortable with that because if Maria is... I, I don't feel comfortable centering Maria as only existing to be a punishment for James' guilt. Because I feel like Maria is a real person too. I don't think they're just there for James. I think they're also their own person. So I'm just thinking, what does it mean for Maria? I noticed Maria wasn't a name on any of the tombstones up there. But like, is Maria alive? Are they dead? Were they ever real? I feel like they're real. It seems like they've died twice. I don't know. Ooh, that's a bad hallway. Eddie, what are you doing? What does it look like? He always busted my balls. You fat, disgusting piece of shit. You make me sick. Fat ass, you're nothing but a waste of skin. You're so ugly, even your mama don't love you. Well, maybe he was right. Maybe I am nothing but a fat, disgusting piece of shit. But you know what? It doesn't matter if you're smart, dumb, Ugly, pretty, it's all the same once you're dead. And the corpse can't laugh. From now on, if anyone makes fun of me, I'll kill him. Just like that. Eddie, have you gone nuts? I knew it. You too. You're just like him, James! Hey, I didn't mean anything. Don't bother. I understand. You've been laughing at me all along, haven't you? Ever since we first met. I'll kill you, James! Oh boy. Hold on. I don't think I'm that hurt. Damn, Eddie. You can take a shot. I feel like we're all 
Here in Silent Hill, Eddie, James, Angela, Maria, I feel like we're all here trying to, well, we're lost souls trying to, I don't know, I guess, get out, fight back. I don't know exactly what we're doing, but James is fighting back. We're running away and shooting monsters, getting through things. We're trying to move forwards, although forward seems to be deeper into the source of our pain. But we're still moving forwards. We're not giving up. And Eddie seems to be doing the same thing, just kind of in a different way. They're definitely fighting, but seems like they're fighting more than just the monsters, but also just kind of everybody. Uh, I accidentally skipped the cutscene. I thought it was back to the playing part, and then I tried to pause, and that button also skips cutscenes. Whoops. It's fine. I, I don't think there was that much more to it. Anyway, yeah, Eddie is fighting back, but I think there's one key difference. I think they're maybe a psychopath. <laughs> kind of changes things a bit. Oh man, let's take an ampule. killed a, a human being. A human being. Mary. Did you really die three years ago? This is the first human we've killed in Silent Hill so far, isn't it? Everything else has been monsters. Where's that detachment? This is back where he came from, isn't it? Oh, 
We're finally outside again. We're in some warehouse next to Toluca Lake. <laughs> we went through all that after entering the historical society. And then we come up just right next to it. Maybe a hundred feet away. Boat launch. actually in control of it. Oh, that's really cool. Ah. Something to aim for. Is there a lighthouse? Well, I don't see one on the map, but there might be. This place hasn't changed at all in three years. Lakeview Hotel.
Little Mermaid music box. There's a fountain in the shape of a bird. No water is coming out of it right now. Music box with figure from the fairy tale, The Little Mermaid, attached, found at the garden fountain. stayed in. Mary, are you there? Or maybe 